Hello wrestling fans, Pedro DeLuca coming to you from the AIW archives for another Absolute Intense Wrestling Event Center. The action goes down Saturday, April the 20th at the Tadmore Shrine, as The Exchange probably presents to you when the smoke clears. If you have not done so, make sure you are heading on over to any AIW social media. There you will find an Eventbrite link where you can pick up those remaining tickets. Now, we do still have some premium seating still available, so make sure you are heading on over and picking up those tickets off any AIW social media, whether it's X, whether it's Instagram, whether it is AIWrestling.com, or whether it is off Facebook. Fans, any social media will get you to that Eventbrite link. Now, if you cannot be there live and in person, of course, we will be streaming live on Trailer Plus TV. I say it every time. It is the best deal out there. Fans, more, so much pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, all kinds of content. Trailer Plus TV, you can't beat the deal. And it is the official streaming home of Absolute Intense Wrestling. There you will find past shows and all kinds of other content from AIW. Fans, you got to check out Trailer Plus TV. As always, doors will open at 6.30 and the bell time will be 7.30. And fans, what a lineup we have in store. In best two out of three falls action, we will see Josh Prohibition once again going up against Tyler Jordan. Now fans, we have seen all kinds of incarnations of matches between these two. We have seen others get involved like Joshua Bishop, Jason Bain. We have seen so much between these two. Will we finally see an end to this feud in two out of three falls action of Josh Prohibition and Tyler Jordan. Josh Prohibition, this is the second straight time that we have lost to you. And that's a damn shame because I've proven time and time again that Tyler Jordan can beat you. I've beaten you one, two, three so many times, J-Pro, clean in the middle of the ring. But you went and got Jason Bain from whatever rock he was living under to come back and take my head off in the street fight. And tonight, you guys did get the better of me and Josh Bishop. But that's okay because 420 on 420 at the Tadmore Shrine. Bishop's gonna handle Jason Bain. So that means me and you are gonna have one final showdown, J Pro. One final showdown. I don't give a damn if it's a street fight, steel cage, normal match, submission match, I quit match, last man stand. I don't give a damn what kind of match it is. Because I will leave zero doubt and prove without a shadow of a doubt that I am simply untouchable. In further singles action, the bone collector, Dominic Greeny, the type of attitude change is going up against someone he's faced in the past, filthy Tom Lawler. Now, both of these men are trying to get back into that AIW Absolute Championship bracket. This is gonna be a war between two men. And again, as I stated, these men have a little bit of a history together. Will the bone collector be able to to stay on this negative track and make his way back up the rankings, or will the filthy one make his mark and get back into title contention? Take a look, packed crowd at Temple Live. Fans going crazy. I'm one of them. All night I've had my eyes on what's going on in there. I was gonna walk out. I was gonna walk out the winner of that six man. But even though I did it, everybody, everybody in this crowd knows that when I wanna be, when I have the opportunity, I am one of the most dangerous men, not in AIW, but in the whole damn world. I've got history with Dillinger. Maybe he's in my sights next. Maybe, maybe Chuck Stone wants to get 
a little, a little intense, Daddy, and put that belt on the line. I was just watching Don Barino attack his former friend Shaw Mason. Maybe Shaw needs some backup. Maybe Dom needs a little beat down of his own. I'd like to be here and telling you that I'm done playing games. But let's be honest, I'm not. Just be sure that from now on in AIW, those games just got a lot more dangerous. In more singles action, featuring two of the top names here in AIW, and in fact, all of independent wrestling, as Dex Royal will go one-on-one -on -one with the Prize City OG, Alec Price. Now fans, it's no secret, Alec Price has been traveling the world. He is one of the hottest names in the independent circuit. Dex Royal, he could be that next one to take that place from Alec Price as the name that you hear about most in independent wrestling. This will be an absolute war between two of the top names in all of independent professional wrestling. Fans, this is my pit sleeper pick for Match of the Night. In more singles action, however, this time with a major stipulation. Derek Dillinger of the production will go one-on-one -on -one with Magnum CK. However, this time, they will be linked at the neck with a dog collar and a 15-foot long chain. Now, fans, we have seen dog collar matches in AIW before. This one is very personal, and this one could possibly be very bloody. Fans, you do not want to miss this war. Dog collars, and also, don't forget, the leading lady of AIW, the first lady of AIW, the queen of the silver screen, Kay Darkett, will be in Derek Dillinger's corner. Will be she play a role in this matchup? But we know for sure this is going to be a hardcore war between two men that have a lot of hatred towards each other. Those are the films that the director directs. Those are the movies that I direct. Whether you want the Technicolor technician, or you want the silver screen slasher. I've bled buckets in AIW. I've wrestled circles around many people. Tonight I wrestled Joey Janela. 30 fucking minutes. We killed each other in that ring. I'm a pro wrestler. Magnum CK, you wanna talk about this as being the end of the production? You want to talk about this as a rap? Magnum, this is my fucking movie. Magnum CK, fuck sports entertainment. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> because you know what? I am the only leading lady at AIW. And we are the production. <laughs> End scene. Derek, when you picked my poison, I wasn't sure what to think. My first thought was, I was excited. I knew that once Effie and Magnum C touched, Cleveland would never be the same. What I didn't expect is my old nemesis, my old foes, demolition, as usual, coming out of nowhere and throwing in the curveball, Danhausen, my old friend, Effie's old friend. Didn't feel good. Didn't feel good to beat up a couple of my buddies. And I know what you're trying to do. And you tried to get in my head, Derek, and you didn't. You didn't. I squeaked out the victory against two of the greatest opponents I have ever or will ever face in my life. You know, Derek, you've been doing a lot of talking about my ass. You want to talk about my fragile ass. You know, I broke my back one week before I started an AIW and wrestled for a goddamn year with fractures in my spine. I wouldn't call that fragile. You want to say my insignificant, irrelevant ass. Well, I came out to Lakewood and no one had seen me in four and a half years because I don't know, I was out rehabbing my back, going through all of that physical therapy, avoiding surgery, performing at the Second City, one of the most famous theaters in the world. You should try something outside of wrestling. You should get a hobby because I think it's melting your brain a little bit, buddy, because you seem to think that the year I spent in AIW, I was keeping you from championships, and the four and a half years I was away, I was keeping you from championships, and the nine months I've been back, I'm somehow keeping you from your precious little championships. Derek, I know it's not over. God, I can't wait for it to be over. But as I sit here in Cleveland tonight, it doesn't feel over. 
Derek, I don't think you're a director. I think you're a projector. I think you're putting all your insecurities on the Magnum CK and everybody else and making it their problem. Well, if you want to touch one more time, if you want to go one more time, I would consider it a date. I haven't been counting. I haven't been counting, but I think maybe this might be our third date and I don't want to be presumptuous, but I think on the third date, <laughs> I have a little bit of an expectation and if I could be so crass on the third date, I am going to fuck you up. Cut. And more singles action. Speaking of wars, Jason Bain will go one on one with the intense icon Joshua Bishop. Now, fans, these men have met in tag team action as Jason Bain teamed with Josh Prohibition. And Tyler Jordan was Joshua Bishop's teammate. This time, it'll be one on one action. These are two of the largest men in AIW history. And you can be sure this will be one war that might leave the tag more in shambles once it's all said and done. Hey guys, can I get your thoughts on your match? Yeah, tonight? you want some thoughts? I told Cleveland what it was all about. I told him when you step in the ring with two veterans, two legends in this sport, then you're done playing JV and you've been welcomed to the big leagues. And tonight, Bishop, you got welcomed to Jason Bain. Joshua Bishop, you want to go one on one with me? You know, you said you looked up to me when you were a kid coming up. How about when you and I go one on one? I'll let you relive your childhood because when that night's over and the ref counts one, two, three, you're going to be laying flat on your back, still looking up to me. In a fatal four way tag team contest, we have four teams colliding in one matchup. It'll be Latinos Most Wanted versus Bang and Matthews versus Two Infinity and Beyond, Cheech and Colin Delaney versus a team that hasn't been seen in AIW in a long, long time. These two members coming together once again, the Spectral Envoy, former AIW Absolute Champion, Ultra Manus Black, will team with Hollow Wicked in this contest. Now fans, there is a lot of history here. Latinos Most Wanted and Bang and Matthews, they've been kind of going up against each other for the last several years all over the independent circuit and here in AIW. Cheech and Colin, Hollow Wicked, and Ultraman is Black, they have a long standing history going years back in other promotions. What an awesome, awesome contest this will be as these four teams collide to get into the contention for the AIW Tag Team Championship. First things first, Shaw Mason, real recognizes real. Yes, you are the real deal, you are quite talented. And was I gonna shake your hand afterward in respect? We'll never know, because apparently Dom has a little bit of a score to settle with you, so I mean, that team seems to be out the book, so the way I look at it, that's a win for To Infinity and Beyond. Yeah, that's right. Usually I'd come back here on him and I'd haw and I'd kick things and throw things, but I got a different mentality. I know we've got a little bit of a skid here, but the next AIW show I saw, yeah, yeah, is on your favorite day, Cheech. What day is that, Colin? That's 420. April 20th, and I saw they got some tag teams coming. So if those tag teams want to come see the best that AIW's got, their ass is grass, and we're gonna smoke them. In more Fatal 4-Way action, this time in kind of the singles ranks. In further Fatal 4-Way action, this time in the singles ranks. Four men looking to make their way here in AIW. You have Mr. The Bill Alfonso Hardcore Tournament Champion, Chuck Stone. You have Mikey Montgomery, a fixture here in AIW for so many years, still trying to make his mark in the AIW singles ranks. You have Trey Lamar also returning after a long hiatus. He's been off and on on these shows. He's trying to make his way in the singles rank. And the man that, in a fatal four-way at the Mercury Lounge on a, a Thursday night, I think had the match of his career, Tyson Riggs, the master of shark martial arts. Although Tyson Riggs wasn't successful in that matchup, he made a very strong showing. Could this be the shot that Tyson Riggs needs to get in those singles rankings? Mikey Montgomery, can he take a further step in the singles rankings? Trey Lamar, or will we still see more domination from the affiliate, Chuck Stone, in this massive fatal four-way? Ah! I lost again, but that's okay. Guess what? Nobody thought I was gonna win. Everybody counted Tyson Riggs out the moment that match got announced. Everyone thought Kaplan was gonna slap the taste out of my mouth, that Wes would punch me around the ring, and guess what, they did. 
but I slapped them back and I kicked them back and I kicked some ass. So guess what? Tyson Rick stocks are only going up right now. So guess what? Akron, give me another four way. Three new guys. I'll kick them around the ring and this time I'll get the one, two, three. Kunye. I'm on a slide. I, I don't know where I'm going wrong. You know, I try my best, try to give everything of Mikey Montgomery. I try to give them the five moves of doom. I try to give them a finish. I, I try to shake hands with the fans, but nothing seems to work. That was perceivably my last chance before Gauntlet. To... I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna figure out something. I'm gonna figure out something that gets me in the main event of Absolution. You just don't worry. Barkley, I did exactly what I said I was going to do, and that was crush you like the beer can I was enjoying last time at the Mercury Lounge. Wes, you strip everything away, what do you got? A badass, a fucker, and then there's Maserati Wes. I put the Maserati in the garage today, and from now on, all I'm doing is putting shit away. Putting shit away and showing everybody why I'm Chuck Stone, why I fuck, and why I'm the Bill Alfonso AIW Hardcore Memorial Tournament Champion. Oh, man. What's up, what's up? You wanna talk? Yeah, can I get some thoughts about your match out there? All right, come on, let's talk about it. All right, when I came back at Absolution, man, like I said before, I didn't come back to be some like a loser. I ain't come back to be like a small fish, a little guppy in the pond. No, nah, man. Like I, I came back with intentions, and that is to win AIW gold. See, all these guys around here. I'm seeing a lot of fresh faces, a lot of new faces. Uh, last time I was around here, back in 2021, a lot of these guys were were training. They weren't even professional wrestlers yet, but I see them at the top. Now, how you how you think that makes me feel, man? But it's all good. Jaylet got a dub. I didn't win the whole tournament, but I got my W though. Come back on from there. Four way. Me, Rock, Tom Lawler, and Josh Bishop came out with the dub. Momentum's rising. Then I lose to Chuck Stone. I go out here in this little in this scramble, little micro man walking around here. I lose that match too. But trust and believe when I tell you this, my intentions, the plan, none of that's never changed. Whether it's the problem or Eric Taylor, I know y'all see me and I'm coming for y'all. Trust y'all gonna see me soon. In eight man tag team action. Cassius King will renew their rivalry with Wes Barkley. We will see the Duke, the intense champion, Eric Taylor, and the AIW Tag Team Champions, Zach Nystrom and Elijah Dean. This group known as Cassius King, they are trying to wipe Wes Barkley out of AIW. Now, Wes Barkley is coming in with some very massive backup. He has PME, Philly Collins and Mario Tanaglia, who will have the manager of champions, Bill Alfonso, in their corner. But this time, Wes Barkley has went out and tried to find one of the biggest and baddest in AIW in the Blue Collar Brawler, Kaplan. These eight men will collide in eight-man tag team contest. Fans, these teams, makeshift teams. We've seen variations of both sides for Wes Barkley, but Cassius King is a solid unit, and you can bet this is going to be yet another war and this storied rivalry between Wes Barkley and Cassius King. Well, Wes Barkley have finally found the missing pieces to finally overtake Cassius King, we will find out on April the 20th. Cap. What's up, Doc? Good stuff out there. Look, I know we had our differences in the past, but after tonight and the jerky, you are the toughest person I've ever met in my life. I felt it firsthand tonight, and I knew it when I hit you with the U-Haul going 45 miles per hour and you walk that bitch off. So look, there's something that's been on my mind for the last three months, four months, five months, and it's getting back my intense championship, going against Cassius King. And I think, 
I got an offer for you. No, I know I got an offer for you. Will you join me to take them out? Who are they again? Cash is King? I've never heard of hey. them. Somebody say Cash is King. Well, if it isn't West. Philly and Marino. What's up, Wes? Yeah, we got issues Long with time Cash no is King. Yeah, Long right. time no see. Look, you guys were there? Yeah. We do have problems with Cash is King. You remember you Temple? You want to do something about it? You remember the terror at the Temple? Yeah. yeah. Remember, remember they embarrassed me? They embarrassed me. They embarrassed themselves. Yeah. Showed them who they really are. The punk ass bitches. Exactly. If you want them, yep. I think we will. And yeah. we, we got overwhelmed Because tonight. all of us are due to Bill Alfonso, hardcore champion, intense champion, tag team champions. We're all due for our gold back. This cashmere cream. Yeah. Cash is king. Whatever. Cash is king. I get to kick all our asses? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, fucking in. I mean, that's all you had to say in the first place, Buster. So I got you. Yeah, yeah why the fuck it. not? Then it is Saturday, oh, April. Well. Us four, April yeah. twenty. Let's get this money, huh? The boys, Boy, oh, the boys are back in town. Oh yeah, baby. Cash, Cash King, cashmere cream, baby. Yeah. Cash you pick cream. whoever you want to do it. You're yeah. done, Duke. You We're bring gonna bury you yeah. with that money, Duke. Yeah. For the AIW Absolute Championship, the reigning and defending champion, the problem Isaiah Bronner will put the gold on the line against Big Sam Hardway Holloway. Now, these two men have been tag team partners in the past at Terror at the Temple. In a huge main event, these men were tag team partners trying to help Wes Barkley in his war against Cassius King. But now they are one-on-one -on -one for the ultimate prize here in AIW. Now, Sam Holloway has had his chances at the AIW Gold in the past. Will this finally be the chance for him to climb the mountain and overtake? Or will this finally be a signature win for Isaiah Broner as he proves his dominance here in AIW? I mean, I really don't know what to say with these aftermatch promos anymore. I mean, just taking a look at the quick pass of what I've done in AIW, it's been multi-man after multi-man after multi-man. And Big Sam Holloway's came, came out successful in every single one of those. So I think it's about time I just quit sitting around and waiting. See, next week, April 20th, we're back in my hometown, Akron, Ohio, at the Tadmore Shrine. And I feel like having a problem. So Isaiah, you come out bringing your best because I'm tired of waiting for my moment in AIW. Next Saturday, I make my own moment. Big Sam Holloway, you up next. I respect you, my baby. The next is a long motherfucking time away. I got right now. See you Saturday. Now fans, what a loaded card we have. So much going on. You do not want to miss out. Make sure, again, you are heading on over to those social medias. You are finding that Eventbrite link and you are picking up those last remaining tickets for this great, great show. So much going on. The Cassius King versus Wes Barkley War. Jason Bain versus Joshua Bishop. A dream match for some people here at AIW. You have the war between Isaiah Broner and Sam Holloway in the main event for the absolute title. Fans, the Tadmore Shrine may not be standing once this show is over with. When the smoke clears, you can bet that AIW will still continue to bring you the best action in all of professional wrestling. Fans, this has been Pedro DeLuca in the Event Center. We hope to see you there on Saturday night, April the 20th. Tadmore Shrine, when the smoke clears.